Well, I've had a pretty uh, productive vacation so far, and I'm keeping right on moving. I built a little uh, cart for this workbench thing, which was tied to this corner and kind of useless to me. Um, now I could take this thing and move it around wherever I want and work. If I'm working on a car or whatever, I can wheel it right in front of the engine compartment and put tools on it and do pretty much what I want with it. I got some uh, locking wheels on the ends, so I can lock that in. That thing's good and sturdy. Or unlock it, move it around wherever I want to. That's going to make a difference in my ease of working here in the garage. And also, last winter I bought these workbench bases at an auction of work. What these actually used to be the bases for my workbench at work. They're probably 30 years old and as you can see they're pretty pretty cruddy looking. It had a nice thick uh, butcher block top that each individual section was falling apart in. The company decided it was definitely time to upgrade so I have a new workbench now with a nice new butcher block top works pretty well so I purchased these and then also I have two more that another worker was using that I purchased at auction and I'm gonna take these clean them up some They're pretty filthy inside the shop I work in is really dirty There's almost no way of keeping the dirt out of everything it just grows there and of course there's a bunch of crap in here screws and pencils and who knows what else I got to get cleaned out of these and then I'm going to put them in this empty space here and get a uh, I was looking around at local Home Depot today and I noticed that they have countertops for, for a pretty reasonable price I can get a 72 inch section which fits right into there for about 56 to 60 dollars depending upon what color or style that I want so I think I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna have myself a pretty nice little electronics workbench there I can mount my anti-static mat on there when I need to work on anything like that and I can ground it right there to the outlet if I need to and work use my little wrist strap and It'll work pretty well. This workbench here is kind of what I have used for it, and it's all right, but I can't sit down at it. And right now it's not a problem since I'm on vacation, but once I get off work, usually my feet are pretty doggone tired, and I like to sit at a workbench rather than stand at it. And I bought this particular top last year at Home Depot. I wasn't, basically this is kind of like white melamine shelving material I don't really care for it it's, it ended up not being very um, durable which basically it's made more than anything for um, putting like books or something like that on it so I was searching around to see what else they had and I saw that countertop material and the price was definitely right so I'm going to set that up and the nice thing about it is all of my or pretty good majority of my small electronics components are mounted right here will be right underneath it so practically they'll just be right at arm's reach um, get some of that junk up off of there out of the way make that look a little bit nicer and I'll have uh, room in these drawers to put some of the solder irons and some of the smaller um, test equipment that I have and that bigger cabinet I can put some of the bigger test equipment like my oscilloscope, my big signal generator and so forth. When I need it I can just pull it out, set it on the top and go to town I guess. But it's definitely been a very productive vacation like I said on one of my workbench videos where I did my steel workbench. Um, I don't just take a vacation to lay around on the beach. I'd rather watch paint dry than do that. I take time and build stuff and get stuff done around the house. I uh, got quite a few jobs done for the wife. She's happy with that. That's been kind of hanging on probably since last time I had a vacation. 
and between that and some of the improvements out here in the garage, um, I'm quite satisfied with how well my vacation has gone. But um, just thought I'd mention what I was planning on doing here. This should make things a lot better. I could take this bench here, just about anywhere in the garage that I happen to be working on a vehicle. I can wheel that right over to that car or whatever else I might be working on. And there it is. Or for that matter, if I'm running the lathe over there, I can wheel it right over beside the lathe. I originally bought this for that, and it just turned into a big, nothing but a big junk collector. i got to get all that junk off of there. Probably throw that thing away or see if I can't sell it at a yard sale or something. But it's pretty flimsy anyways. It, I wouldn't want to wheel that thing around much, but I think that'll work really nicely, though. And it's just at the right height, and while I don't, like I said, I don't really like to work standing when I come home from work. Um, if I'm working on a car, obviously I will, and everything's pretty much right there at waist height, a little bit more than waist height for me. So it should work pretty good. So that's what I'm going to do.